was the plan. Well, what do you say we skip out in the middle of the night? We just might make it to Mexico. Everything's a joke to you, Cal. I'm serious. We gotta do something. Well, let's get the credit cards. Catch up next month. Jeez. Well, thank God you guys are here. I'm here because in my time of need, I had to ask myself who I could trust with my life. Okay, now you're scaring me. Did you rob a bank or something? Oh, no, nothing like that. That's pretty. What is it? Family heirloom or something? Nothing like that. And listen, I don't have a lot of time here. This little wish key here has given me everything I've asked for. Look, Dan, if this is one of your practical jokes, your timing sucks. No, it's for real. It's a wish key. Two words. Some people call it the equilator. It makes things equal. And now it only responds to one person or one master. And I'm asking you, Cal, to be that person while I'm gone. Well. I can hold on to it, Dan, until you want it back. I mean, if it's all right with Sophie. I wish it were that simple, Cal. Uh, you'd be its benefactor, its master. The equalator has to be in use or she'll die. So you're saying your house, those cars, that business you bought, all of it came from that thing? Every bit of it. Sophie, you and Cal could have anything you wanted. Anything. Let's do it. I revoke my position as keeper of the flame. Your new protector, benefactor, is now my friend Cal. My pledge is to keep the flame burning and the promise unbroken. My request is to manifest. Make it good. Make it good. My request is to manifest a, uh... What was that car show? Your dream car? Yeah. Is it car? My request is to manifest a 1999 Marinello 550 Ferrari. Oh. And that blue is the color. See? I knew he was a loon. Yeah. But we do have each other. That's all that matters. We'll always be rich. Hey, Cal. Never took you for much of a showboat, man. Why don't you come out here and move your Ferrari so the average man can go to work, huh? Come on, buddy. You can make love to her later. Let's go. You found a complete replica of my dad's car. Right down in the wheels. Oh my God, Cal, you, you didn't! When I was a kid, I watched my dad install the shifter. He loved this car. We'll keep it in the garage. On the weekends, if you want, we'll take it for a drive. Thanks, Cal. You're welcome. I don't deserve this. Yes, you do. You work hard. I think I may have messed up with good fortune. What are you talking about? There was a lady, and she came by the office, and she was asking so many questions. But you did you didn't say anything, did you? Let's get inside. <sighs> So you're saying you didn't call her, she just showed up? I googled Equilator Box. That's in. Two hours later, she shows up. Flashing her badge went and all about Dan. How do you know that's why she came by? Everyone knows Dan's my oldest friend. She knew exactly what I searched, Cal. Have you ever heard of this agency? Agent Nancy Picard, Office of Scientific Security Management, OSSL. She said they're with the Division of Homeland Security. Sounds like the frickin' Soviet Union. She seemed okay. I didn't really tell her anything. Look, it's okay. They're the feds. I I'm gonna remain calm. I'm not gonna get upset. Okay, good. She wanna come by and talk to us. She's coming by here. Would you say Dan was nervous or seemed threatened on his last visit? Well, Dan's always been hyper, I mean. Anyone in possession of it is in violation of several federal statutes. Did he ever say anything? Agent Benson will sum up, if necessary. First and foremost, that box is a weapon. It's obvious they do not know how it works, because they don't even know about the I bag. I say we turn it over, Cal. Get away from this whole thing before it blows up on us. We can't fight the federal government. Think about what all this has done for us. 
No way can we just throw her to the wolves. Her! You love this thing more than you love me, don't you, Cal?